thanks for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the Scolopendra Singulata Centipede. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So today we're going to talk about the Scolopendra Singulata. Now I do think there are various morphs of this, but you could correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not massively up to date with my centipede knowledge, but this one is known as the Egyptian blue-legged centipede. So first of all, let's talk about positives. Well, in any centipede, one of the major positives is actually going to be the coloration. Now, although mine doesn't have really striking blue legs as sort of more like a, a an off bluey green fading away kind of color, it still has that red butt, which is really awesome in the centipede. And then it has the great kind of uh, greeny beige colorations with the black around the edges going across its back. I really do actually enjoy this centipede. It's really, really good fun. Um, it's got a reasonable feeding response, but I wouldn't say it has a fantastic feeding response. In fact, most feeds have actually been once I've put the prey in and left the prey in there and realized it's then gone. But on the odd occasion, I have seen the takedown. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage of a takedown to share with you. Another great positive is the fact that this is a small species of centipede. I'm not very good with my measurements, but it's about this big and it isn't going to get much bigger, if any bigger at all. It's a nice small beginner species of centipede. So if you want to get into your peas and you want to start with something small, this has been probably the best um, and most easy centipede that I've kept in my, well, entire life, in fact. And also because it's a small centipede, it doesn't need a massive enclosure. And also the design of the enclosure is so simple too. I just mixed together topsoil and sand, added a bit of extra sand on the top as well for an aesthetic look, put in some hiding spots and some leaf litter and just let the centipede do its thing. I've had the centipede for a fair few months now and it's not shown any signs of anything being wrong. It eats its food, it's active, it's just a healthy, in my opinion, looking specimen of centipede. So I must be doing it right. And I have the bare minimum kind of setup for it too. Now, they always do recommend putting a water dish in with your centipede. So I don't actually do that with this one. What I do is I dampen one part of the enclosure every week so it can drink from the substrate there and I've had absolutely no issue so it really really is a massively easy centipede to keep and that's got to be the biggest positive out there. Going on to negatives then, I can't really think of much in the way of anything negative with this centipede. I mean it's a negative if you're only into massive centipedes then it's maybe not going to be so thrilling for you but if you're not fussed about that it's not going to be a negative. As I said, the feeding response is moderate. So again, that's not particularly a negative either. I think the only thing I can mention is the fact that this centipede does hide quite a lot. Um, but so do all centipedes. If you want an animal that's never going to hide, a centipede really isn't the animal for you, unless you keep it with no hiding spots, which is just a little bit cruel in my opinion. But if I think hard, I've got to come up with one proper one and I think I think the only major or main negative should I say about this animal is the fact that when you look at pictures of it online I think either people have a more colourful specimen than mine or they've just popped the image you know what they do with little Instagram filters and things like that they've, they've given a colour pop um, to this animal um, to advertise it online which is quite a common practice um, let me know if you guys have a much more blue-legged version of the Scolopendra Singulata in the comments below. Is mine just getting on a bit? Is it to do a molt? Is it what? I, I don't know. But I, I can't think of any other negative really to say. 
So then, moving on to additional information. What can I really say about additional information either about this animal? The only thing I can really discuss with you guys is do I plan on keeping this animal or is it a part of the for sale section for the BTS show? I'm going to say I'm 50-50 on this. You guys help me decide in the comments below. Part of me thinks the enclosure doesn't take up much space. The animal is good fun. I'm successfully keeping it. I'm having no issues. It, I do get enjoyment from it. But do I get excited over it? Not so much. I don't go, oh, time to feed the centipede or anything like that. I don't get over enthusiastic about it. And although it does take up very little space, it's still space. And I need space right now. I'm currently building my display walls, or it's now t things have moved around. <laughs> my displays are now stuck either side of my television, which is where the camera is right now. And then there is another set of shelving. So it goes into a corner one side and then a flat piece the other side. That's my display shelving. Now my display shelving are going to be filled with eventually 30 by 30 centimeter cube enclosures and that is an enclosure that would just be wasted on this centipede so this centipede is never going to fill the display enclosure section but there is still room for it in the non-display section in the bedroom where it's currently kept but then i also think about the fact that there is a species of centipede that i'm not sharing with you yet that i have wanted for a few years and that one could go in a display cube so perhaps I'll sell it, perhaps I won't. Do I save myself that little extra time on feeding and watering day, that little extra space on the enclosure, or do I just keep it because I do get some enjoyment from it? But then I argue again, will someone get more enjoyment out of it than me? So I'm gonna say I honestly do not know if this one is gonna be for sale or not on the BTS stand, but I should have added this in the positives, they're a fairly cheap species of centipede too. So if I do sell it, you're again not going to be breaking the bank if you buy this one off me. And again, there's only one of this animal. So if I do decide to sell it at the BTS show, you're going to have to be quick to pick that one up. Because once it's gone, it's gone. And if it's not on the table, I've kept it. Again, comment below to help me decide. So I'm going to be wrapping this video up for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing the clips of the Scolopendra Singulata and I will see you in the next video where we will talk about another animal kept here in the realm. But if you do like what you see, ladies and gentlemen, you are brand new here, make sure to subscribe and like this video because there is going to be some pretty awesome content coming out later on. Again, a massive thank you to those that have supported me during my time off YouTube while I'm trying to raise my little girl who's not so little now. At the time of recording this, she is now eight months old. So, yes time consuming but i love her so anyway i'm going to wrap this up as i said guys thanks for watching everyone see you in the next video take care bye bye